How to sing higher. If you ever wanted to sing higher or expand your range, but you're having a hard time getting there, here are a few reasons. Your larynx position, you might be positioning your larynx a little too high when you're trying to go into the upper register, so that's gonna cause some tension. Your breath support, maybe you are not having good breath support when you are singing, so when you are trying to hit those higher notes, you kinda run out of air before you even get there. Flexibility, you need to be able to stretch your vocal folds as you get higher. As you go higher, your vocal folds are actually getting taller and thinner. When you go back down towards your chest voice, your lower register, it actually thickens and gets shorter. So with that knowledge, in mind you have to work on stretching your vocal folds and then strength do your chords have the strength to close when air is passing through and that is when we talk about chord closure the higher you go the harder it is for your vocal folds to actually come together versus how they are in your chest voice in the chest voice your folds come in more firmly in your head voice your vocal folds do not come in as easily so that's just how the body works. So you really gotta work on strengthening the muscles to get those chords to come together. So now we're gonna go into detail on each category. With your larynx, you wanna make sure as you go higher, you're not raising the larynx as well. So that's why you see voice teachers say, you know, bring your chin down, drop the jaw. So for example, if you go higher, uh, that is me raising the larynx on purpose. <laughs> That's gonna hurt and singing should not hurt. So think of the idea of opposition. When you go higher, you have to think down. When you go down, you have to think higher. And that kind of creates this psychological thing where when you sing higher, as you gradually go into your upper register, you're actually lowering your larynx and you wanna keep it in a neutral position and kind of just keep it there so that you don't strain yourself. And if you have a hard time with that, why don't you just swallow? Try that, try swallowing like this. Notice how your larynx goes down naturally. So if you ever have a hard time, you're like, oh, I can't get my larynx to go down. Oh, I know, I know I should have it down, but it's not going down, just swallow. <laughs> or drink some water and then you kind of reset your larynx in that neutral position. All right, so breathing. You know that breath support, breath control, breath management is important. Yes, the concept makes sense, maybe. <laughs> but it's hard to execute when you go higher, right? So think about this. You know that the vocal folds are having a harder time coming in together as you go higher, right? So that means less air needs to come out. So the higher you go, less air. Less, 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 less air. However, when I say less air, it does not mean weaker air. Your air, your stream of air should still be strong, right? If you, if you sing with weak air, it's gonna still sound weak. <laughs> But I think what you want is singing higher and also sounding strong, right? You don't want to sound weak. So you want to make that stream of air really strong. How do you do that? I talk about compression. And compression means basically just compressing a bunch of air into like a small little space. And that energy, that condensed ball of air gets really strong. So I'm going to give you an analogy. And this analogy involves a diver in an ocean, right? A diver requires an oxygen tank to stay underwater for longer. See there? You wanna stay underwater longer. You wanna sing longer, you wanna sing stronger, work on compression. So in that, in that air tank is compressed air. And the reason why that air is compressed is so that it releases a small amount of air, very small, but it lasts you for a very long time. Yeah, so that's what we wanna do when we are working on singing and breathing. You wanna have compression when you are trying to go higher. However, if you don't work on that, you're gonna end up just pushing a bunch of air out. <sighs> that, or it gets really breathy. That's what happens. When you push too much air out, you actually get really breathy. And that's not good on your vocal folds either because you are drying out the folds, which makes you cough 
And if you cough, you're being very harsh with your vocal folds. So you want to prevent that at the beginning. You don't even want to get to the coughing stage. <laughs> so yeah, that is why we want to reduce breathiness. It's not so that we can even sound better, you know, breathiness in a style, that's a thing. That's not wrong. It's an interpretation. It's a style. We'll talk about that way later, but you want to reduce breathiness because you, you want to make sure you don't dry out your vocal folds. If you dry it out, other problems happen right? A sore throat, irritation, scratchiness, and then you end up pushing more. And when you push more, you hurt yourself, you strain, you tense up, and it's just, it's just not good. <laughs> so work on breath support and understand why. Okay. Flexibility. Flexibility is really required in singing in general, especially if you want to mix or belt. But if you want to go higher, your vocal folds, they need to get longer. And because they're getting thinner, they really have to stretch. So there are exercises where you can stretch and that's why warming up is so important. You need to stretch just like in dancing, just like in exercising, cardio, running sports, you have to stretch your muscles or you will tear it if you just abruptly sing something with without stretching. So you really want to establish that before you even attempt songs with higher notes and gradually work your way up to your higher register. Don't just go straight into it. If you know your limit, stop there and then gradually increase your limit. But you are not limitless. <laughs> you can definitely go higher than you think. You just haven't realized it yet. And you haven't done things in a certain order to get you there. So work on stretching your muscles. Next, I want to talk about strength. And that means chord closure. How well do your chords come together when you are singing in your higher register? You need to work on strengthening the surrounding muscles of the vocal folds. Just know that your vocal folds, they don't do anything. They're just flaps. <laughs> they just come in together when air is coming through and they just come out. So you need to work on the surrounding muscles so that you can get your folds to come in and close. And that's why breath support is so important. You don't want to push too much air out or it will shove your vocal folds apart. And that's where you get the, you know, if you ever like punch someone or you got punched you get the wind knocked out of you. That's what happens. Do exercises that have the G consonant, the N consonant, or the M or the NG consonants. Those will just bring your chords together and you have to do it repetitively to build the muscle. It's just like doing reps at a gym, right? To build bicep muscles, you have to do multiple reps, not just one and then you're done. No, that's not how you build muscle. So think about that. There are exercises that will help you. Before we go on to the actual exercises, let me know what your struggles are when you are singing higher. Is it the breath support? Is it your larynx position? Is it your flexibility or your strength? Let me know. Let's do an exercise to help you sing higher. So with this exercise, you're gonna sing the vowel E and you're gonna start from note number one and jump to note number five, the fifth interval. As you go higher, you wanna get taller and now you understand why. So let's start right here. And you're just gonna follow along with me. Here we go. E get taller. E Less air. E right, so match the sound of the piano. Notice how when you go higher, the sound is smaller. Right? Almost like a little mouse, but you got to stay clean. You want to make a clean sound regardless. So yeah, as you go higher, make your sound smaller, but keep it strong. And that means your stream of air needs to be strong as well. There are a ton of exercises that can help you sing higher. I have a whole bunch that I can just show you. If you want to book a private coaching, you can just go on my website and then just book an appointment.